morning. Chris Brandt, the beef shaman with you, and uh, doing something different. I wanted to do this video for a long time, and today it's ghost shrimp fishing. Gonna do ghost shrimp fishing on the big bay. So here in Mission Bay right now, it's early low tide and we're gonna get ourselves some shrimp and then head over to Coronado, fish the flats. So if you look down in the water and see these little holes, and that's their burrows. They live in the tidal area. These are really cool creatures. Can't say I wanna eat them myself but the fish sure seem to love them. So I'm gonna use this ghost shrimp pump. So it's a stainless steel pump. That's as easy as that. So we'll get a few more and then uh, head over to the other bay. So we got our ghost shrimp and now time to head out and uh, enjoy the fun. Let's catch some fish. Who says we can't catch some spotties on the way? <laughs> so we're right at low tide and I'm expecting it to be pretty good. Got a good tide movement today. So if you watch the videos, I like fishing six pound test out here. It gives a little bit more of a challenge. I decided to up the stakes do four pound test on my ultralight rig <laughs> one of my ultralight rigs this is my backpacking rod normally used for small trout up in the sierras you know anything i catch on this rod is going to feel good oh yeah first hookup of the day i'm a spinner bait just slow rolling on that thing. That thing's a little chubber. And all while we're on the way out to get the fish we're looking for. So it's about 13 feet deep here. I let it drop all the way to the bottom. Just kind of like pump, retrieve and drop. Pump, let it drop. Pumping it. Yeah. Yeah. stuck in the grass there for a minute. Another, look at the tummy on that thing. Look at the tummy. There we are. Number three, and like I said, we haven't even gotten to fish for what we're here to fish for. <laughs> but that's okay. I think we just got to the sand area. I'm gonna do a Carolina rig. Just a little over a foot of leader, swivel. Three eighths ounce. Uh, bullet sinker. I'm going to use a longer shank hook. I'm going to use a hole bait right now. 
just like that. You can use an egg sinker or another kind of sinker. This is just what I like to use. So you find the transitional spots between the grass and the sand. And that's where a lot of the species, you can get the bass, you can get the halibut, you can get the you know sand bass, you can get the, the you know, croakers and the bonefish. And that's what I like about the ghost shrimp, especially if people are new to fishing, it really gets you excited because you never know what you're gonna catch. That's something. Didn't have to wait long for that. Oh, stingray. Nah. It's interesting how different fish fight differently. You can definitely tell different species from one another. Oh. Feel something fighting on there. Oh, now it's out. It was stuck in the weeds probably. in the grass. Here we go. There we go. Here's something. Hopefully it's not another state. But it kind of feels like that. Maybe not. Feels bigger. Definitely feels heavier. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, it's okay. Of course, right now my net is stuck in my thruster. Something that was screaming. Let's see what it is. Like I said, my net is stuck in my thruster. A little spider. Let's 
smooth out. Beautiful little fish. Look at that. Totally like an alien creature. Look at the eyes. Cold, heartless eyes. Like doll's eyes. But beautiful fish. So if you notice, they don't have big teeth like some of the sharks. They're bottom feeder and they eat like uh, clams and shrimp and stuff like that. Beautiful. All right. Species number three. I think it's time for a beverage. How about a fresca? Actually, look how beautiful that looks. Nice shiny can. Found this yesterday at the local bottle shop. It's the BFF, best beer friends forever. It's Stone and Port, Pizza Port Brewing Company. Both of them are here out of San Diego. I know Stone just got sold. Kind of makes me sad a little bit, but you know, what are you gonna do? So this is a IPA. 6.5%. It's got a good kind of mix of pine and floral, a little fruit. Oh. oh, it does have some bitterness. That's awesome. What a great beer. Super tasty. Ah. That is really good. Great mouthfeel. Refreshing. It's got enough body and flavor to keep it interesting. Great, great IPA. Now, I've been doing some other kind of beers lately, but I, I'm an IPA guy through and through. Love it. Check it out. Local bottle shop. They'll always hook you up. There's something. Always interesting out here fishing in ghost shrimp. People next to me caught a mini bat ray, they caught a stingray, they caught a smooth hound also. like the shark but it's got some weight it feels like and it is oh stingray number three good times good times on the bank time to go with the magic bait so I've been fishing a white grub on an eighth ounce Roadrunner style jig head and haven't gotten bit on it. I'm trying to catch something on the four pound test. So I went with the gulp minnow and we'll see if it makes a difference. There we go. There's something. sure what this is. Back on the ghost shrimp again. Back on the ghost shrimp again. Not sure what this is. 
got weight to it. Could be just grass on a bass. Could be something big. Feels like it's got weight. Hopefully not another stingray. fish on the four pound test finally. like a bass. Maybe not. I don't know. Well. Yep. Bass and grass. Right. Right in the corner of the mouth. All day long, baby. All day long. But it has been all day long. four pound test. That's a better fish. Look at that one. So this is the G. Loomis Escape travel rod. So it's a three piece rod. This is a three piece rod I use when I travel wherever. A six foot three rod. It's two to six pound test. One thirty-second to one quarter ounce, and this is the Shimano Nasi five hundred reel. Not very expensive. There we go. All going bendo on the four pound. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Thumping me. 
back in the grass? Nope. Actually, nice one. Nice one on the four pound. Oh, that thing was a bite and a half. Look at that. A 15 inch spotty on four pound test. Look at that. All right. What a fight. What a fight. intense getting back across. I've got fishing boats, cruise ships, cargo ships. I had a sea monster come around me. I've caught tons of fish, jet skis, wakeboarders. The only thing I haven't seen is the red October. That's it. Whew. I'm ready to be done. Uh, this is what I was waiting for. I'm surprised it didn't happen earlier, but I am in a washing machine right now. The craziest flow tubing I've ever done. You know what? That was super fun. At the end, it was super intense. Um, I got everything I wanted except a bonefish, but you know what? That's okay. It's beautiful being out here on San Diego Bay. What a great day. It was intense there at the end. I got a ton of great fish. I caught fish on go shrimp, which I wanted to do and haven't done for a long time. You know what? What a fun day. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Happy 4th of July. Bonus fish. There we go. Look at that. Another gorgeous spotty. Look at the stripes on that thing. Spots.